Google has launched a new publishing interface for Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. The interface makes it easier for people to understand how document, spreadsheet, and presentation content can be published as a web page or embedded in their own websites. Let's have a look. In the text document here, I can go up to File, go down to Publish to the Web, select, and it brings up the Publish to the Web dialog box. You'll see you have a choice of the linking or embedding aspects, and then we can go ahead and click on Publish. Let's just back out of that going to charts. Charts is a little bit different. If we go to file and go down to publish to the web, you'll notice the box looks just a little bit different. And now with Google Sheets, the new interface also provides the ability to publish specific sheets and charts without publishing the entire document. So now I can go ahead and select which actual chart or sheet I would like to publish. I can require people to sign in with their account, or I can go ahead and have it republished when any changes are made get a link to the published data so for the web page HTML CSV text or PDF data and then I can copy and paste the link above for slides looks just a little bit different let's go to file publish to the web and you'll see here with the box I can either link or embed it and then I also have the option for the auto advanced slides every three seconds if I select that You'll also see that I have some different options with that time period. I can start the slideshow as soon as the player loads, and I can restart the slideshow after the last slide. Then click on Publish and go to your website. So just a little bit of an update, more of a simplification of the new publishing interface, once again, for Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides.